can help us in these crises. in the exceptional name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to Victory Place International, our morning devotion. Amen. Bless God. We give God thanks that you are able to join us today here at Victory Place. We honor God. Amen. Bless the Lord. We celebrate people. We change lives and we aspire to impact the world. Glory to God. And I am so happy that you will choose to spend this time with me. Glory to God. Amen. And we encourage you as per usual. Amen. To start your own watch party. To share this live with somebody. To tag somebody. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And um, we are also streaming on 
on um, Instagram as well. And for those persons who prefer the Instagram platform, you know, we, we are on Instagram. We are also coming live on YouTube as well. And we encourage you to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all of that in Jesus' name. All of you that are techno savvy, you know the meaning of these things in Jesus' name. So good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. If this is your first time with us here at the VPI Morning Devotion, please identify yourself. Would you be so kind in Jesus' name? Amen. Bless the Lord. We want to give you a good VPI welcome. Amen. You are important to this entire process. Good morning to you. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Laverne, good morning. Marlene, good morning. Joanna, good morning, my friend Melissa. Um, good morning, Ria. Good morning to you, Cliff. Good morning, God bless you, Virginia. Good morning, Gemma. Good morning, uh, Shellyan. Good morning to you, Vicky. Good morning, Joy Samuel. Good morning, welcome, Lawrence. Good morning to you, Amen, Natasha. Good morning, welcome, 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 uh, Sherman. Good morning, nice to have you with us. Amen. Uh, Keisha, morning. Monica, good morning. Kima, good morning to you. Laura, good morning. Happy Friday. Nadine, good morning. Welcome. Alice, good morning. Norma, Elicia, morning to you. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Zinet, good morning. Patsy, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Crystal, how are you doing there? Bless you. Janice, Lake, good morning to you. Lady Marcia, good morning to you. Esther, good morning, good morning, good morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Janice Phillips Bennett, good morning to you. Amen. Lady Harris, what's good? What's good? What's up there? God bless you. God bless you. Adiola, happy to see you. Nafurta, happy to see you as always. Glory to God. Pamela, morning to you. Amen, amen, amen. So happy to see you. Mary, what's up there? Cassius, my brethren, how you doing, man? Good to have you around here. Amen. Kerry, what's up, bro? Bless you. Good morning. Happy Friday to you guys. Cheryl, what's up? Lady Lewis, good morning. Donna Lee, good morning to you. Lady Carleen, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Bless you, bless you, bless you. Donna. Good morning to you. Good morning. Top of the morning. <laughs> Herman, good morning. Shondell, how are you doing there? Amen. From Linden, my friend. Amen. Judith, good morning. Mish, how are you doing today? Uh, Shellyanne, good morning to you. Happy to see you. Florita, good morning to you. Good morning to you guys. Amen. I must shout you. I must shout you. You know how we roll. Glorine, good morning to you. Celeste, Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Happy Friday. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Dawn. Good morning to you. Let's take in a little more this year. Amen. Bless the Lord. Such a beautiful song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Aries. Good morning to you. God bless you. Collis, good morning, welcome, 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 amen, thank you Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb, bless God, thank you Jesus, mm -hmm. yes, yes, hallelujah, <laughs> bless the name of the Lord, don't forget, don't forget, make sure you share this with a friend. Make sure you bless somebody else by inviting them into what is happening this morning. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome to VPI Trinidad. Good morning. Deborah, good morning to you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. Bishop Michael Singh, good morning to you, sir. So happy to see you. Bless you, bless you big time. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Everybody, I want you to welcome my good friend, my good friend, amen, Pastor Michael Singh. Amen. From Guyana, we welcome him this morning, just gracing us with his presence in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless your bishop, the entire church and family in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Aries, good morning. Uh, Pula, good morning to you. Bless God for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning to you. Long time no see. <laughs> ah, glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yes, yes. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, yes. Uh, we give thanks and praise unto our God. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. We honor and glorify our God today. Herman, good morning. Marzian, good morning to you. Lady Camille, good morning to you. We welcome you. We thank God for you on this beautiful, beautiful Friday. It is in my heart. Amen. It is in my heart to pray a prayer. And I would ask for you to agree with me. Amen. For us to pray over the beautiful country of Guyana. In Jesus' name, amen. I know the saints have been praying and people have been praying. And I would like us this morning as we start out to pray over this country, amen. And it's a uh, political situation and the people and, and that the will of God ultimately will be done in that land in Jesus' name. I have so many friends and over there and we are all in this thing together in Jesus' name. And so, amen, I wonder if you could join with me. We are praying for Guyana this morning in Jesus' name. Our God and our Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise for this land that you call Guyana. We thank you for your people. We thank you for the church that you have raised up in this country. Father God, it is a fact that promotion cometh not from the east, nor from the west, not even from the south, but you are judge. You set it up one and you take down another. 
your word teaches us as well that you rule in the affairs of men and so god we are praying in the name of jesus christ that you will continue father god to rectify things in this country we understand that we have opinions that human beings have points of view and there are various systems in the earth that we use lord god to come to various conclusions lord god the running of countries are a concern of yours the leadership of countries lord the electoral process in a country lord god the, the franchise of the people these things are important to you and we pray lord god as you look down upon guyana that your hand will be upon this people your hand would be upon this land that your your hand will be continually upon this land father because we know that you are already at work we know that your people have been praying we know lord god god that you are doing what you plan to do for this country we pray for the church in jesus name the body of christ the body of believers that lord god that somehow by your spirit father wherever there be brokenness wherever lord god there may be indifference that there will be a mending by your spirit oh god we understand how lord volatile political things can be we understand father that we can have difference of opinion we can have difference in political philosophy but God we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your people father that there will be a seamlessness among your people we pray oh God father that there will be unison on the matter of God's will and God's purpose we understand that we are not called father to uniformity we are called to unity but not uniformity and so I pray that your hand would be on upon your people that your hand would be upon the leaders your hand would be Lord God, upon those that are influential in that land, O oh God, that Father, at the end of it all, that the will of God will be done and the people of this country will be served, Lord God, according to your plan and purpose, and it will be your will, Lord, it will be for the betterment and the upliftment of this land. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, for we understand, Father, that when, when things are emerging, when good things are coming that there is a lot of opposition from time to time the enemy of our souls does not want guyana to come to the fore does not want this country to emerge lord god as some economic giant in the region the enemy of our souls lord god have want this land to remain in obscurity but we thank you because you have a plan for guyana you have a plan for the people of guyana you have a plan for lord god for the and there is a role for this country to play in the scheme of things in this day and age that we live so we pray now we agree for blessings upon the land we agree that the purpose of god will be accomplished we agree lord god father that your will will be done in jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen bless the name of the lord praise the lord amen and everybody say amen if you agree with that prayer in jesus name amen blessed be the name of the lord and I, while i am at it amen i know there's a there's a there's a, a kind of scourge of violence amen in our own country trinidad and tobago and tobago in particular we have seen a rise in in killings that we have never seen in our history amen blessed god in almost like a week period bless the lord we have found amen that we've seen like about four killings in that space and we have never had that before and we understand that these are the last days and that evil men and seducers are waxing worse and worse we understand amen that the world is becoming a more dangerous place to live but we must still look to our god amen bless god we must continue to call upon him and so amen father we pray amen even over trinidad and tobago as well that lord we we we, we violence is a thing that we know about in this country and and it seems as if lord god it 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 it, it, it has it has a kind of season when it just 
escalates and it goes lord god into madness but lord this morning we come and we lift up this land you see the nefarious activities taking place in and around you see those men and women that are bent in engaging lord god in activities that will bring hurt to society and we pray today that the spirit of god will stop them in their tracks we pray mighty god that those father that are saddled with the responsibility to protect us and to be engaged in national security that you will continue to protect and keep them and help them to execute their duties efficiently in the name of jesus christ lord we ask that you would protect our family lord god who is a proposed target today we ask god that you will intervene and stop father god someone from doing injury from doing destruction to another life in the name of jesus christ we ask that you will visit those communities oh god father that are hatching mischief those homes those areas where there is mischief afoot where there is a plan where there are plans oh god to destabilize society in the name of jesus christ we ask for intervention we ask for supernatural lord god intervention we ask that you will fight on behalf of the people in the name of Jesus Christ Father we commit this land this twin island republic which we call Trinidad and Tobago we commit it into your care again and we ask oh God Father that you would look upon us Lord that even those of us that are born again Christians that you will remind us amen of our responsibility to continue to pray for the land to pray over our people in the name of Jesus we pray by extension for every jurisdiction represented on this life today every country lord god regardless every country i pray all countries have social ills and have different issues lord god that is bringing amen a problem to bear upon the people every country has its problem so we ask that there'll be a visitation oh god today we stand proxy for our lands we stand proxy for our communities we stand stand proxy for our homes in we stand proxy for our jurisdictions in the name of jesus we ask oh god father that you will visit with us today oh god that something and things will be done to rectify the problems in our areas in the name of jesus christ lord protect your people protect lord god father that which you have called us to engage in let us continue father to arise in the midst of the darkness let us continue to shine as christian people let us continue to point men amen to your kingdom and point men to the nail scarred hands of our lord and savior jesus christ let us continue to be a part of the solution rather than the problem in jesus name father we give you thanks today because we know that you are god that sees and knows we understand that there is something afoot today every day there is some plan to do hurt to do injury to do damage to another human being and so we pray today that this oh god father that reasonably that this thing oh god will subside we pray in jesus name that god father you will cause justice to come for those that need it in the name of those that deserve it we pray as your word teaches that justice must run down like a river for those that have been disenfranchised in various ways oh god that you will stand amen as their defense those that have no voice that mighty god you will speak on their behalf in the name of jesus christ we give you thanks today we give you praise and honor and glory, Lord God, because we know that you are concerned about the welfare of all men. And so we bless you today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Blessed be God. Thank you, Jesus. I want, amen, very quickly to read one verse for you. Amen. Before we, amen, our time is going, but God is good. Amen. We need to remember to pray one for the other. Amen. In Jesus' name, it is important for us to do that. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord and welcome. <clears throat> Amen. I wanted to draw your attention to Psalm one, uh, Psalm 107. Amen. Verses 1 and 2. And I'm going to leave you alone. Psalm 107. A song. Amen. Bless God. Bless the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> and the song says, 
Glory to God. Amen. 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 <laughs> Blessed be God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and for his mercies, his mercy rather, endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Thank you, Jesus. And his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Conversations or teachings rather on thanksgiving. Teachings on thanksgiving. My brothers and sisters, amen. This issue, amen. This this uh, this song that is penned by the writer to this psalm is a song where he invites the listeners and invites the community, amen, to be thankful unto God. And he reflects on what God has done for them and bless the Lord and 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 uh, and, 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 and and encourages them, amen, about the the importance of being thankful. And whenever you see there is an admonition to give thanks, it could be one of the two things. One, either there is a deficiency in the actual thanksgiving or, amen, it is just an encouragement to keep on being thankful. Glory to God. And either one is a good application for what is before us in Jesus' name. Because sometimes we could become so consumed with our it with our issues. We could become so consumed with our realities. We could become so consumed with the problems. We could become, amen, so caught up and we could lose sight of, amen, all that God has already done in Jesus' name. And so the admonition is relevant to us here, glory to God, in this day and time that we live. Amen. Bless God that we must never forget that we ought to be thankful, just being grateful. Amen. For what God has already done. Amen. Do not be prisoner to what you do not have. Do not be prisoner to the things that are out of order at present, but rather be grateful for the things that have already been accomplished in Jesus' name. Be thankful. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And I think as we get into this very quickly, we have to first explore the what of thanksgiving. When we say thanksgiving, what do we mean? When these Hebrew people, amen, when the writer to the psalm says, be thankful or oh, give thanks, what exactly do they mean? We have heard these Hebrew words, amen, thrown around many years ago, and, and, and all of you have heard it, I'm sure, amen, whether it's Barak or Shabak. Or, in fact, this word is the word Yada, which really speaks, Yada really speaks about to throw or to shoot up the hand in laudation, to throw up your hand or to shoot up your hand in thanksgiving, in worship, in gratefulness. And my brothers and sisters, this morning, I want to say to you that when we think about who God is, what God has done, when we think about our own lives this morning, forget about, amen, please try and suspend the things that are out of order. And just this minute, just contemplate, look at your life, amen, bless God, make an, a quick assessment of your life. And when you would have done that, what the psalmist is saying, throw up your hand, glory to God, shoot up your hand and just be thankful glory to God shoot up your hand in thanksgiving thankful that you're not dead thankful that your mental faculties are intact thankful Amen, that you've been sustained. Thankful that you were not killed by the last vehicular accident. Thankful that you were not killed by the last sickness. Thankful that the last engagement, amen, you were not consumed. Thankful that even though you've been hurt, even though you've been mistreated, even though you've been misunderstood, that your mental faculties are still intact. Thankful. Glory to God. And this is what he's saying to them, amen. When I say to be thankful, Thankful. I'm talking about shooting up your hand. I'm talking, bless God, about throwing up your hand in laudation, in lionization, amen, in thanksgiving, in worship, in gratefulness. And I want to encourage somebody this morning, amen, maybe you need to quit fussing, amen, quit being on edge, quit being so uptight and just be thankful to God. 
thankful that you have life glory to god thankful amen bless god at least you got something to eat thankful amen bless god where there is life there is hope hallelujah to the lamb because it could have been worse do you know that when you assess your situation there are other people that have gone through less and are not around even to testify they are not around some of them amen their minds are completely gone they have gone through less but look at you today amen regardless of how bad it may have been regardless of what is out of order you are still here you are still strong you still have perspective you still have hope and so the psalmist is saying amen bless god that you must be thankful you must throw up your hand hallelujah to the lamb you must throw up your hand shoot up your hand amen bless god in gratefulness and don't think about amen bless god don't be distracted and deterred by people you know what god did for you amen Amen. Bless. Let's go further. Amen. The what of thanksgiving. Amen. Is is what does that mean? It means to throw up your hand. It means to shoot up your hand. Amen. Bless God. And why? The why of thanksgiving. Amen. Bless God. He said. He said, be thankful. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord because, because He is good, and because His mercy endures forever glory to god amen hallelujah it, it speaks about the character he's saying listen your thanksgiving is not some engagement in a void it's not some religious activity that you are engaging it is something that has tangibility there is some reason there is some justification for this behavior i am calling upon you to be thankful because there is credible information to substantiate the action Glory to God. Why? Because he is good. Goodness. Glory to God. Which speaks about the sum total of a person's being, his character. They are saying here, the psalmist is saying, God is good. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And when we say good, there are just so many good things that you could think about. So many good descriptions. So many good adjectives that can be used. We say good. We mean pleasant. We mean rich. We mean becoming, agreeable, excellent, appropriate. Amen. Bless God and all that other good stuff. And you are a testator. You you know what God has done for you. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Right now as you sit there, right now as you're driving along in your car, you know what God has done. You know how God has been to you. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Glory to God. His goodness, His mercies, His mercy, His graciousness, mercy, mercy endured forever. That speaks about pity. Amen. It speaks about kind forbearance shown towards an offender. Let me say that again. His mercy endure forever. That speaks about pity. It speaks about kind forbearance shown towards an offender hallelujah to the lamb amen it speaks about a judge that initiates amen a pardon on somebody or to somebody that is guilty glory to god so what this is the psalm is saying listen i am telling you i am I am encouraging you, admonishing you to be thankful. Why? Because this God is not only good. He does not have a, not just his character of goodness, but there is a manifestation of his graciousness towards us as well. His mercy. Amen. Bless God. His pity. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. His kind forbearance towards us. Amen. Us, the ones that were the offenders, we offend him all the time. We make mistakes all the time. We fall short of his glory all the time. Amen. We, amen, do not come up to par. We misrepresent him so often. Glory to God. And the psalmist is saying, in spite of all of this, when you think about how he responds to us and does not, amen, treat with us according to our iniquities, the thing about it, the things that we really deserve, amen, we do not get. Glory to God. God, amen, because of his mercy, because of his choice, hallelujah to the Lamb, amen, to exonerate us even when we are guilty. Somebody needs this morning to shoot up your hand, amen, and just say, Lord, thank you. Amen. You need to throw up your hand in thanksgiving when you think about where you are. When you look back and see how he paid every bill, got you through school, the job that you're working, the marriage that you have, the children that you have, the car you drive, the house you live in, the opportunities that he has afforded you with. In Jesus' name, you need to be thankful. Amen. Bless God. You need to throw up your hand in thanksgiving when you think, amen, about how good God has been. Glory to God. Amen. The 
way of thanksgiving because amen he is good hallelujah he is better to me than I have been to myself he is concerned about every intricate detail of my life he sees my uprising and my down setting he goes ahead of me and charts a course for my success amen he dismantles satanic works against my life amen bless God when the schemes and the plots and the strategies are erected and constructed for my demise I can't see them amen bless God I don't even know what has been planned I don't even know what the day holds but he my God goes ahead of me and make sure I get through the day safely I am thankful. Amen. I'm going to make some noise in essence. What the psalmist is saying, bless God. Amen. I'm coming to the last point. He said, listen, the why of thanksgiving is because of his goodness, but he gets down to the who of thanksgiving. He said, let the redeem of the Lord, let the redeem of the Lord say so. In other words, don't just sit there, say something. Glory to God. You know that God has been good to you. You know that God has protected you. You know that God has kept you. You know that God has provided for you. You know that God has stood there by you. You know what you have is because of God. You know where you are is because of God. So he's saying in essence to the people, don't just sit there. Say something. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless God. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let those that have experienced redemption testify. Glory to God. Amen. Let those that have been redeemed. Amen. Affirm this to be true. In Jesus' name, amen, glory to God. Those that have been dis- been delivered, delivered from a deceptive enemy, delivered, amen, from a, a devil and a demon and demons that only meant, amen, your, your, your destruction, never had any good intention for you, never had any good plan for you, never wanted you to be who you're supposed to be to accomplish anything, amen, bless God. Do you not remember how you were under the devil's bull whip? Do you not remember? how you were in such bondage amen you had no ambition had no amen no no vision for nothing and thankfully amen blessed god you've been rescued redeemed amen the lord himself became our kinsman redeemer it means to buy back to purchase glory to god amen and every redemption has a cause Glory to God. Every redemption has a cause. And we know when we talk redemption in our context, we are speaking about the redemptive work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we shed his blood, was brutalized and killed. Amen. Bless God for our redemption. So nobody will tell me to shut up. Nobody will keep me quiet. I've got to throw up my hand. I've got to make some noise. I've got to say something. I must testify. It is exceedingly sinful and immoral for me to not say for me to not make noise for me to not affirm for me to not amen bless god say that the lord god says so say to for me to not amen make a claim that god has redeemed me amen bless god the devil is a liar i'm saying to somebody here I know that some of us are introverted. I know some of us are calm. Some of us, amen, we have different personalities. But I'm telling you, there is a time and place when you've got to speak up. There is a time and place when you've got to say, you've got to affirm it. You've got to testify that the Lord God has redeemed you. Amen. Bless God. You may not have the house on the hill that you desire. You may not drive the car that you desire yet. You may not have everything perfect yet, but thank God you've been redeemed. And once you are redeemed, you are on your way, amen, bless God, to accomplishing those things that he has designed for you. I want to challenge somebody today. I know we have all kinds of issues. I know we're dealing with COVID-related issues. Some of us still on the breadline, still don't know what the future holds. But I say to you today, amen, bless God, when you don't know what tomorrow holds, look back and be thankful for what he did already. Glory to God. And I'm telling you today, if God could do that, God can certainly do this and God will do the other in Jesus mighty name. So the the admonition this morning is be thankful. Be thankful. Glory to God. When things ain't going right, still be thankful. When people acting funny, still be thankful. 
demons and devils coming against you still be thankful amen bless God because you know that your God amen deserves the praise the honor the glory he deserves the lionization the laudation he deserves it amen bless the Lord don't let nothing or nobody shut you up glory to God I know we are moving back into formal church operations now and we are called upon amen to have amen a, a safe distance we are called upon bless God God, to have some social protocols in place because amen of all that has happened in the world I am saying to you, we are not going to fuss over these things amen bless God we're not going to be distracted we will give thanks unto God six feet apart we will give thanks unto God with mass on our face we will give thanks unto God if it's just for one hour glory to God two hours we will give thanks unto God Amen. In fact, we will begin giving him thanks from the house. Glory to God. I remember the psalmist said, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. What he was saying is that you must bring it from your house. Amen. It must be an attitude. And that, that particular psalm, amen, is a psalm of ascent. Ascent means it is one of them chanting psalms that you sing on your way to church. Glory to God. It's not that you're waiting to get to the place of formal worship to make Make sure your perfect your your favorite worship leader is there they're singing your favorite song and you have the musicians and everything is crisp and everything is just right mm -mm. bless God you can't leave those things up to chance because you see sometimes we are deficient sometimes you go there and the song service ain't going right sometimes there is no electricity sometimes your favorite worship leader is not there something is awry but you cannot amen allow amen these things to hinder to suspend amen to prevent your thanks Thanksgiving because you have already brought it with you. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I have brought my thanksgiving. I'm coming into the formal place of worship. I'm entering. I'm entering and coming in. I'm coming through the door thankful. Glory to God. I'm driving down in the car thankful. I want somebody today to join me. Amen. Bless God. And bless being thankful. Just being thankful. Saying, Lord, amen. Bless God. I give you thanks. I give you thanks that I'm alive. I give you thanks, Lord God. My mental faculties are intact. I give you thanks. I have the articulation of my limbs and my speech. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody hurt me. Somebody left me. Somebody mistreated me. Somebody amen was unjust to me, but I give you thanks still. Glory to God. And this is what the psalmist is saying to the people. These are no days for you to just sit idly by. Amen. Bless God. And you get just got so wrapped up in your own concern and don't say nothing. He said, no, 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 no. Those that have been redeemed, let the redeemed say so. Glory to God. Let the redeemed make some kind of noise. Say something, man. Don't just sit there like a bump on a log. Say something. You know God has been good to you. You know, bless God, he has kept you. You know he has provided for you. You know he has watched over your children. He has paid every bill. Bless God, paid your mortgage. Amen. Been a father to your children. Amen. Being a brother, a friend that stick it closer than a brother. He's been there when everybody else, mother and father forsake. Amen. When everybody else was coming against you, he was your defense. Listen to me. I know what it is to feel alone. I know what it is to feel all by yourself when you look around for people that you think you trust and depend on. They're not there for you. But thankfully... This God that we serve will never leave us. He's always there. Amen. So remember, glory to God. Amen. Remember to shoot up your hand. Remember to throw up your hand in thanksgiving. Glory to God. When we think about how good he is, he said, let the redeem. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord because he is good. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Look yourself in the mirror and just say, this is the goodness of God. Come on. Some of you need to just, you need to just go by the mirror. Slow down. Look at yourself and said, God has been good to me. God has been good to me. Hallelujah. When we look at the law of averages, you ain't supposed to be where you are right now. Think, think, speak the truth. Speak the truth in love. Amen. You're not supposed to be where you are right now. Your experiences, glory to God. Amen. That last incident, that last situation, you're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to have what you have. You're not supposed to be who you are. Glory to God. But we give God thanks. We give God thanks. Amen for what he has done. We give God thanks. Amen for who he is. He's just a good God. He watches over every 
aspect of your life and mine. Amen. Bless God. He's a good God. He's a great God. He is the true and living God. There is none to be compared with him. We used to sing our old song in the church. There is none like unto thee. Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Doing wonders. Who is like unto unto thee O lord amongst god glory to god and sometimes amen we have to suspend all the things that distract us we have to put aside those things amen bless god that gets in the way amen bless god of doing that which is right regardless glory to god i say to you today amen bless god amen that you must be thankful no matter what you are in a particular situation right now i know it i sense it the spirit speaks that and confirms it to me but i say to you Amen. Rather than being upset, rather than being distracted, rather than being feeling sorry for yourself, just be thankful. And don't misunderstand me. I understand. All of us understand. Amen. And feel that we need a little pity party sometime. I have done it. Amen. And I'm sure I will do it again sometime in the future. Amen. But I'm saying to you, bless God, this minute, amen, this time, right now, the word of the Lord to you is this. Be thankful. Amen. Just change, switch this thing. Amen. Amen. Flip this script on the devil. Eh, this is going to confuse him because he can't understand after he did all that and it looked as if he was succeeding and you're really supposed to be crying. You're really supposed to be bitter. You're really supposed to leave this Christianity thing all, all, all entirely. You're really supposed to be upset because of what they did, what they said and all that. You really, but flip this script today in Jesus name and be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Amen. Bless God. Be thankful. You would be amazed. Amen. At what God God will do. Amen. When he sees us being this thankful for just, just all that he has done. Let me tell you something. Amen. Everybody, human beings have been designed to respond to accolades. Glory to God. And we, we, we perform better. We perform with a greater amount of passion and intensity when we are appreciated. Glory to God. When we are, when we are lauded for our acts glory to god that's that's and, and we learn that from god it is something that we've gotten from god and i'm telling you don't wonder the same the saints to say that when praises go up amen blessings come down there's no verse for that but but bless god but i'm saying it is a fact that there is a reaction there's a reciprocation that takes place i'm a living witness and i'm saying to you one of the way the reason why i live the way i live in all honesty amen bless god people say I am a bubbly person, I am a this and but the truth is when I think about what God has done for me, I have down days, you know. I have days when I get frustrated and depressed, but generally, generally I'm a happy man, I'm a thankful man, I am grateful. Because I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed. I, I don't. I, I'm not supposed to have anything. The kind of stuff I've been through. The kind of stuff I'm going through. Amen. The enemy should have destroyed my life a long time ago. But it is God, the grace, the mercies of God, and you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Why are we still here? So that's why I don't, I don't let nobody stop me. I don't let nobody get in the way of my praise and thanksgiving, my expression. Amen. Bless God to God. I mean, who could stop that when God? Nobody. And let me tell you something. Yeah? People who try to mess with you, they know nothing about what you've been through. They don't know nothing. They ain't there. They were never there when you were crying. They were never there when you needed the hand out of the situation. God brought you out. So you rather ask nobody permission. It is time for you to throw up your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless God. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Amen. Don't keep quiet. Glory to God. Amen. And, and don't make no excuse. Amen. And say I'm a quiet person. Every quiet person makes noise when it is necessary. Glory to God. Amen. Bless the Lord. If you're drunk and you won't be quietly saying help. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb. So there is a time and place for everything. Amen. Bless God. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. <laughs> uh, and his mercies. His mercy, rather, endures forever. I ain't not time to expand on that thing in a man. Forever. His mercy. They're saying here that God is consistently merciful. Thank you, Jesus. You see, human beings have a way. We like to write you off. If you do something today, we will write, you know, you do the same thing tomorrow, same thing next week. We will write you off. We will say there is no hope for you. We will conclude that you are hopeless, but not God. And the tricky thing about that, humans who are doing that, 
expect God to be merciful to them for their own flaws, you know. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's another message, though. But you and I, we know where God has brought us from. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb. And I'm thankful. I am thankful. I've seen God do some things during this COVID period. Oh, Amen. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Glory to God. I said I'm thankful. I am thankful. Glory to God that he made a way. That he provided. He kept us. And every bill is paid. Because of his goodness and mercy. I close this morning. By reminding us. Amen. Bless the Lord. That we must be thankful. You hear? Just be thankful. Be thankful. Throw up your hand. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Those that have been redeemed from the hand, the power of the wicked one. That deceptive and destructive devil. We've been redeemed. That alone, that alone is just Thanksgiving thing right there. Just that alone. Forget about the house and land and car. Just that alone. Redemption from a deceptive and destructive devil. That is Thanksgiving stuff right there. In Jesus' name. I close this morning. Amen. With just the admonition. Just the encouragement. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nobody get in your way. In Jesus' name. You be thankful. You hear? God will take care of everything. God will take care of stuff. He's going to take care of stuff. Amen. He's saying, speak up, man. Testify. Say so. <laughs> Affirm it to be true. Affirm the thing, man. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. The word of the Lord is blessed. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your people. Everybody who took the time off to join us today. Let the word realize its purpose in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Bless the Lord. Don't forget, amen. The Lord touches your heart and you are moved to sow into the ministry. Please do so with the various uh, platforms that are available. Amen. Bless the Lord. Anything that you need information on, you can just send me a message and I will give clarity. But we thank God for your gifts. We thank God for your support. Amen. And we know that the Lord will keep his promise to you. There's no question about that in Jesus' name. So have a good one. Amen. Stay strong. Amen. Be thankful. Let the Lord have his way in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. I'm done. I'm gone. God bless you. Happy Friday. Bye-bye.